In this short recording, I'm going to go over for you how to create a contingency table in Excel 2004 for Mac. These steps are also applicable to later versions of Excel for the Mac and very similar to the PC versions. This is Dr. Myers and I'm course lead for NSG322 Biostatistics at National University in San Diego. So Excel calls these contingency or cross-tabulation tables a pivot table. So these are where we are comparing two categorical variables. So what I'll do first is show you an example in my teaching that I do very often. This is an example of people taking vitamin C. We have 12 patients in our study. Six people took a sugar pill. Six people took vitamin C. And as in the data you can see down here, four people who took the sugar pill got a cold and two people did not. In the vitamin C group, one person got a cold and the rest did not. So if we open up our Excel worksheet and put this data in, this is what I've done for you in this worksheet here, and again you can pause this recording and enter this data into your Excel worksheet to keep up. We see then here we have the data for our 12 patients. So to make a pivot table or contingency table in Excel is done very easily. So basically you want to use the data tab and click on pivot table report. So we go data, pivot table report. We're going to get this from our Excel list, so we just click next for step one. Again, in step two, we're going to select the data. So just like we've done before, you select over all of the data, including the labels, and click next. In the last step, you can tell where to put it, so we'll put it in the existing worksheet, for example. And then you want to click out in the layout button. Click on the layout button, and it will tell you basically where to put the data in the table. You can see that since we selected our data properly, it's already identified our column headings, our group, the people we're in, and the cold status, our data. Now, in statistics, we know that for cross-tabulation tables, the independent variable goes into the column, so we'll drag that over there to group, and we'll put cold status, our dependent variable, in the rows. And the data we're going to analyze, of course, is the dependent variable, the cold status, so we drag that to the middle. So this is how we set up our cross-tabulation table or our pivot table. We click OK and the work is done. We click Finish and it populates the data for us in a new worksheet. So here's our data. We click on that little tab there and now we've got our pivot table. So then to go back in and put our percent totals, we basically want to uh, add rows to this table. But since it's a pivot table, what we want to do is just click on it and copy it and paste it. So we can control C or go to edit and copy it. Then click on an empty cell, right click, and use the paste special function. So we just select that. And then we click on values. So that'll just give us the numbers. Then we can work with these and create uh, formulas like we did in the PC version and now create our pivot table, make it look functional. So to put in the percent totals, we just click under each one and just go up and click insert rows. We can do that for each one, including the totals. And so to get our percentages, we basically want to then input our formulas. So if we want, for example, to know the percentage of people who didn't get a cold, then we can click on that cell and simply write a formula. So we'll just go equals. In this case, we'll click on the B11. And the percentage <clears throat> is just percentage over whole, so it'll be B11 divided by the total which is B12, uh, D12 in this case. And if we want to keep copying this formula, we can use that dollar sign in front of each one. That'll keep that fixed to that cell. Click Enter, and we've got our percentage. Then we can just copy that across. So just go to Edit, and we can go Fill, Right. And again, we can do the same thing just by copying this down. We can copy it into our other cells. And that way we get the percentages. So this one basically took the cell above it, so B13, so this is the, the percent that said yes. And then, of course, we can just reformat these, go to Format, Cells, and we can make them percentage, which they are. Put the decimal at 1, so we can just keep cleaning up our table. So again, this is a very quick way in Excel for the Mac to create a pivot table, put in our percent totals, and we're done. 
In this short video, I'm going to continue to show people how to do the pivot table functions in the new version for the Mac, the new version of Excel 2011. So here I've gone ahead and opened up the table. So if you looked at the other videos, this is the same data set we had before. So here's our 12 patients, right? We have six in the vitamin C group, six in the sugar group. And with the vitamin C group, one got a cold. And in the sugar placebo group, four got a cold. So four, four are yes. So um, to set up the pivot table, it's very easy in this version. So you see uh, we have the Home tab here, and we can click on all these different tabs. And what we want to do is click on, simply click on the Data tab, and there's where we get the pivot table function from. If you've watched the PC version, now it's going to look very much like the PC 2011 version, or 2010 version, rather, for the PC. So we just click on that pivot table icon, and we're going to create, on, create manual pivot table. And you'll see then the same type of fields set up that we did before. So we can simply drag over our groups, and it'll give us our range. And we can leave it on New Worksheet, and we just click OK. And it's going to go ahead and create that pivot table for us in this new sheet here. So now you notice it's looking like the PC version of Excel. So what we do is now we click on both the group and the cold status, and you can see it's already starting to make the table for us. And once again, we have our dependent variable. It's going to go in the rows. So we're going to drag our cold status is already there. And our group has to go into the column, which is the independent variable. So now you can quickly see that already our pivot table is already done for us. So again, here's the total, 6 and 6. And with the vitamin C group and the sugar group, we can go ahead and fix this table just like we did in the other videos. But again, the quick steps for the new version for Mac 2011 version of Excel, you simply click on the Data tab and then click on the Pivot Table from there. And click on the little down symbol, Create Your Manual Pivot Table, and you'll get the same fields as we had for the PC version. And now you can create your Pivot Table just like we did in the other videos.